Hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. V-E. Live at 8 p.m. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. How about jets yesterday? How about them jets? Yes, jets. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Well... Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to click that like button. Click the share button. Then go to YouTube and smash that subscribe button there at Audrey's Reading Area. Yeah, do that. Shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sanaa, David III, Kaden. I love you. I miss you guys so much. I'm reading a book dedicating it all the way to my daughter. To my daughter, her name is Asia. This is to you. Well, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let me just jump right into this book. It's called Without You. The name of this book is Without You. Without You. Sarah Weeks, written by Sarah Weeks, illustrated by Suzanne Durancio. Duranco or Duranso. I would say Duranco. Without You. Oh, nice illustrations. Look at the back. Yes. Without you. Oh, the penguins. See how they do? The penguins. Without you. So let's just jump right into this book. Without you. Without you. By Sarah Weeks, illustrated by Suzanne Duranko. When the female emperor penguin lays her egg, she passes it straight to her mate, who puts it in a pouch just above his feet. Unlike most birds, she doesn't stay to help protect her young. Instead, she goes out to sea to feed, leaving the male alone with the egg. For two months in the freezing Antarctic winter. During that time, the temperature drops far below zero and the penguins live in total darkness. Careful, yeah, wow, the males eat with an egg, balanced carefully on his feet. They live off only their own stored body fat. Hmm. Huddled together for warmth, the villagin emperors constantly move and shift on the ice so that each bird gets his share of protected time in the warmer inner circle as well as on the chilly perimeter, serving as a wind barrier for others. Soon after the eggs hatch, the females return to the colony. In the darkness, the only way for the birds to recognize each other is by their voices. So they call to their mates and as loudly as they can. When the pairs have reunited, the fathers gently transfer the precious chicks to the mother's feet and they go off to sea to feed, get some food. Hmm. She'll come back to you and me soon. You'll see. Aw. Aw. Can you see? Let me show you. Aw. No sun shining down on us. It's black as pitch all day. Black as pitch all day. Well, we say pitch black, right? I feel a little funny inside. My mom is far away. That's the egg, carrying the egg in between the feet at the bottom. Yeah. Bottom of this penguin. Nothing but sea ice for miles around. But you close your eyes to the blink blinding sleet. But here I am, warm as toast, balancing on your feet. Cool. It's all cold. You can see the cold. You can almost feel it, right? And he's balancing the egg down there on his feet. Where would I be? What would I do? 
Who in the world would see me through? Where would I be? What would I do without you? We huddled together in the inner circle. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful how they all get together and huddle together to stay warm? We serve our time on the outside too. So some of the penguins go on the outer circle so that the ones on the inside can get some of the warmth. Nice. Brave the blizzards in the sand times. Ooh, you got them all. Got the little one in there. Keeping them warm. While mama dies in the deep sea blue. Look at that. All those mamas. Nothing but sea ice for miles around. You duck your head when the cold wind blows. But here I sit safe and sound, balancing on your toes. Nice. Where would I be? What would I do? Who in the world would see me through? Where would I be? What would I do without you? Oh, look at this beautiful picture. All these penguins together. I know that she's somewhere out there without us, but I've got to believe she's thinking about us. Oh. She'll come back to you and me soon, you'll see. No matter what, you've got to stay awake now. Don't let your eyes close. When mama calls, you've got to answer for me. Yours is the only voice she knows. Aww. Husband and wife thing, they got this, this thing there, huh? Connection. Where would I be? What would I do? Who in the world would see me through? Where would I be? What would I do without you? Oh. The end. Oh. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me here at Audrey's Reading Area. Oh, we'll see y'all tomorrow live. L. I V E live at eight. Don't forget, click that like, hit that share. Go on over to YouTube, Audrey's Reading Area. Smash, smash that subscribe button for me. Shout out to my mama who's always here. Thanks, mom, for always being here. Shout out to my cousin Ellie and my friend Victoria. You guys share my videos all the time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See you guys tomorrow here live at Audrey's Reading Area.